Many people say there's nothing better than a warm and cozy electric blanket to ease the winter chill. But there is evidence to show certain electric blankets aren't as safe as we may think. Since 1983, Sunbeam has made almost every electric blanket sold. Evidence indicates Sunbeam knew something about safety risks, but up until the year 2000, made and sold their electric blankets anyway. Blankets that may still be in your home. Fox 13's I-Team reporter Allison Triarcy joins us. What's the problem with these blankets, Allison? Steve, they can catch on fire. Since the early 80s, the Consumer Product Safety Commission's recorded thousands of electric blanket fires. These fires have burned and even killed people. A former Sunbeam engineer from Grenada, Mississippi, tells us he warned Sunbeam its electric blankets could catch on fire years ago. Emergency Last December, a North Carolina man called 911. The house is on fire? What, what part of the house is on fire? Okay, it's a big night. Hello? Bed. Hello? The bed. What, the bed is on fire? Right. A disoriented James Walker made the call to report the bed fire, but never made it out of the house, despite a 911 operator's pleadings. Get out of the house, okay? Right. All right. Get out of the house. We're sending the police, the fire department out as soon as possible, but I need you to get out of the house, okay? Right. Disoriented by the fumes, Walker hung up the phone and later died inside his home from carbon monoxide poisoning. The fire department concluded his electric blanket caught on fire. No one knows if Sunbeam made the Walker blanket, but back in 1994, Frances McBrayer says Sunbeam made her blanket. It caught fire and started a blaze that killed her husband, Memphis City Councilman Ed McBrayer. The case settled confidentially. Electric blanket fires may surprise you, but not this man. I wouldn't even put my dog under it. Because you run the risk of getting injured and burned, killed even. Bill Rowe says Sunbeam didn't heed his warnings. They consider me a hayseed. This hayseed is Bill Rowe. He busted secret codes in World War II. He's invented top secret electronics for the Navy, and in the early 80s, he helped design Sunbeam's first electric blanket. 20 years ago, as a Sunbeam engineer, Rowe designed the blanket's wiring and knew then of a serious problem. We knew it would burn. We'd already had some of the prototypes burn. And uh, as a matter of fact, the first blanket was ever made burned up. Sunbeam electric blankets have wires running through them that generate heat. If that wire is nicked or broken, the blankets have a safety circuit. As shown here, the safety circuit should detect the short and in a flash, turn off the blanket. But these safety circuits don't always work. It didn't work. The fuse in this control did not blow. Even though the safety circuit tried to work, Attorney George McLaughlin represented the family who owned this burned blanket. McLaughlin says the black spot on the safety circuit's glass tube proves it fired but failed to shut off the blanket. Sunbeam also settled this case confidentially for an undisclosed amount of money. McLaughlin says the blanket's proof of what Bill Rowe warned Sunbeam about 20 years ago. Rowe says Sunbeam knew then their safety circuits didn't always work because he told them. He's kept the evidence all these years. Roe has a 1983 memo that's been used in several lawsuits. It warns Sunbeam that the safety circuit could have up to 500 catastrophic failures per year. What did they say in response? The response directly to me was, if you ever mention this again, we, you'll be fired. Roe left Sunbeam a few years later, still unsatisfied with the blanket safety. Not only did the safety circuit sometimes fail, there was another problem. The problem is the blanket safety circuit could only detect a short circuit or broken wire within the blanket's first 50 feet of wiring. But many of these blankets have more than 100 feet of wiring. That leaves half the blanket without protection. And if you get a broken wire, for whatever reason, this is what's going to happen. As McLaughlin shows us, this is what could happen to an older Sunbeam blanket. In 2000, Sunbeam changed the blanket design to detect shorts through the entire blanket. But before then, millions of the older blankets were sold and are still in people's homes. Sunbeam refused to comment on this story, despite our repeated requests. In the past, Sunbeam said Bill Rose just a disgruntled ex-employee who isn't credible. Sunbeam also says its blankets are safe. But Bill Rose says the question to decide is whether these blankets are safe enough for your family. While Sunbeam refused to talk to us, its lawyers did talk to Bill Rowe. Just last week after Sunbeam learned we had interviewed Rowe, its lawyers called him and offered to reinstate him as a paid consultant. For five years, Rowe received a monthly fee to consult for Sunbeam, and now Rowe says 
Sunbeam plans to reinstate that consultancy, which means he'll no longer be able to talk to the media. Reporting live in the newsroom, Allison Triarce, Fox 13 News. Many people say there's nothing better than a warm and cozy electric blanket to ease the winter chill. But there is evidence to show certain electric blankets aren't as safe as we may think. Since 1983, Sunbeam has made almost every electric blanket sold. Evidence indicates Sunbeam knew something about safety risks, but up until the year 2000, made and sold their electric blankets anyway. Blankets that may still be in your home. Fox 13's I-Team reporter Allison Triarcy joins us. What's the problem with these blankets?